This is my third holiday chronicle. It measures 9 by 6. It has a lace and hitch post closure. I've used a couple of charms, a lock and a key on the end of the lace. It has a rounded spine. Put a little bit of uh, a vintage look on the spine. I have used metal corners to protect the corners. A little bit of a raised image on that. This is a uh, made to look like a, a vintage leather. I wanted this book to have a little bit of a worn uh, feel to it, so I made this full leather cover. And again, we have some images on the spine. I made this book for um, memories of Christmas present that we're creating, Christmas past that we've had, Many of the uh, tuck spots, if they, the pages to be used in, uh, other than with a uh, journaling card, uh, adhesive can be put under the fussy cut image, and it can be just a part of the page. Have lots of lace, a little lots of lace in it, a little bit of a vintage whimsical look to this album. And I don't remember where I've gotten the uh, digital downloads. Some of the images I just got off of the internet. This is a faux, a little golden book that I made, and it just has plain pages on the inside. And I have it in here with this cute little belly band. I thought these kind of fold-out pages would be cute for um, drawings. My grandchildren love to draw pictures, and I thought, oh, how wonderful to have them draw a little picture and keep that in this little journal. A little faux stitching on that tag. A acetate for the um, tuck spots and that. Faux, stitch, faux stitching on both of those tags. Again, more faux stitching. Lots of journaling tags and banners and tabs, and stamping. And again, I wanted this to have a, a warm, worn kind of look. I didn't want it to look so new and, and uh, clinical. This is a little journaling card that has a little peekaboo hole there. And uh, this is uh, just an image, I think, a little uh, interest, a little punched interest on the corners of that. This is a flip up. And another fold out page. I did quite a bit of fussy cutting uh, of Christmas images for these uh, chronicles. We'll flip up again. Another one of those uh, images from Christmas cards past. This is uh, an envelope. Oh, look at that cute little snowman peeking out of that. Isn't he cute? Another little coin envelope with a little journaling card in it. And this is a little tag. A tuck spot for a tag. I love this book. It had these gorgeous, gorgeous pages in it. Christmas decor and the like. And of course these are journaling cards in here. And I uh, put a lot of faux stitching on these journaling cards, some stamping, a little punched interest on the corners there. Lots of room for making, writing memories. This is a functional cabinet card, so you could put pictures underneath it. I just love cabinet cards. I love the way they look. I've been using a lot of them in my journals lately. This is a little flip up with another little, isn't he crazy looking, cute little snowman. A little doily, and again, a little punched interest on the corners. And this was a Christmas card, and I made him into a journaling spot. In this envelope we have a little opportunity for personalization. Another one. Tuck those away. Isn't he cute? I think he's adorable. 
tuck him up there. And this was another Christmas card, and I used some punched interest on the corner and turned that into a, a, a journaling card. Another functional cabinet card. This is a little uh, embellishment that looks like snow. Banners in the corner. And this is a little coin envelope with a journaling card on the inside. Tucked under that altered paper clip. And another one tucked under that altered paper clip. And that would be cute with children's drawings, with a little belly band, a little Coke Santa on it, a little journaling card underneath that, a journaling card there. And this is another belly band. Vintage snowman, lace, vintage lady, little stamping, this little envelope with another journaling card on the inside, another cabinet card, cute little gingerbread guy. And another one of these envelopes with and another Vintage image there. A stamped image. A little ornament. And another functional cabinet card. Cute little cute little fella there looking out at the moon. And this was a Christmas card, and I love this Christmas card. And so I turned him into a little tuck spot. Isn't he cute? I enjoyed making this. This is the last of my chronicles. I really, in a way, struggled with um, these holiday chronicles because I generally don't do uh, themes that are this spe specific. But um, I did enjoy how they turned out, and I hope this little guy finds a forever home. Thank you for watching.